We are talking about the Mitchells versus the Machines. Meow, meow. Beep, boop. Hey guys, it's the Chelsea Movies, yay! We saw... Did you want to do your funny voice? No. Do it. What's my funny voice? You did a robot voice. But I, it's like the same tired old robot robot act, Kelsey. Beep, boop, beep. We get it. You're a robot. <laughs> we saw the Mitchells versus the Machines, and we don't often see movies in this genre, the genre being the animated family films, but Kelsey came across this movie just by happenstance, I guess, on Netflix. Or was I, it Destiny? I already knew about this movie. I had seen a trailer for it. Probably over a year ago, but it turns out that this didn't come to theaters, I guess because of the pandemic, and it looks like, when we look at Rotten Tomatoes, that it released April 2021. <laughs> uh, and I guess it went straight to Netflix. It's, uh, Rotten Tomatoes said it had a limited release in theaters. But I thought when I saw the trailer over a year ago that it looked, I was like, oh, that's an interesting concept for this genre of movie and the concept being like this family is going to take their daughter to college across the country but lo and behold robots rise up and attack the human race class and i was like huh this this seems interesting to me kelsey go wait or skip go this is the easily the best movie i've seen all year I think that it was hilarious. I think that it was fun. I think that it was well done. I think it was new and different. It reminds me of when it's like something like tor to something like to <laughs> I can't see it. Something like Toy Story. Okay, Toy Story. When something like to <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's new, it's different, it's awesome. Go see it. <laughs> Toy Story. This movie, uh, I'm also going to say go on this movie. It was really fun. I was engaged the whole time, and it did. It struck me as different. This is not a Disney film. And there was something where I was like, yeah, give me something in this genre that is not the same thing over and over again. We recently saw... Riot and the Last Dragon, and even, not just us, you go to Rotten Tomatoes and they're like, hey, it's really great, just like it follows the Disney formula, Hold and they now. do a good job. I really liked Riot and the Last Dragon. You did really like it. I say it. go see that, make it a double feature, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but this movie was, it It was different, and so I thought, I don't know, I just really, I, I just, and it had heart, it also had... For an animated film, right, where robots rise up against the human race, it also had a a realness to it. Spoilers. Spoilers. It's awesome. Go see it. See it in your home on Netflix. It's like if you want wanted like your kids to watch Terminator, but they're not quite ready for Terminator, then this is your movie, guys. This is it. So I mentioned earlier I how it was real. One of the things that I liked was... Uh, how the characters in the movie interacted with one another. I thought there was a, a kind of real quality to that, but also uh, how the movie was made. So when they were driving, there were lots of billboards. And that is something that we deal with all the time. We see ads and advertising, and especially you throw in social media. Then the family, like they're using phones, like there's this thing that's a big part of everybody's life called PAL, a.k.a. Facebook. And it was all worked into the movie, and I, I think that that's how our lives are. Like, we see ads everywhere. We're dealing, social media is a part of our lives. So, like, I just went and saw a friend not too long ago, and we're talking about Instagram, like, while we're talking about what's going on in our life because it's all, like, connected together. And this movie did a good job with that. Well, and also it presents, like you said, real-life issues... Um, such as the use of artificial intelligence mm -hmm. in everything you look at online. There's artificial intelligence behind it that's designed to track what you find interested in. It tracks it in a scary way, in a scary, like, futuristic way where maybe this is horrible and dangerous and nobody's really paying attention to it yet. Um, so I think it presents that idea and it does like it funny, uses like, that family and friendly it's, way. It's pretty subtle. So if that's something you like don't agree with or, or or whatever, I don't think it's gonna like bother you much. And then the characters in the movie also had arcs. So not only I felt like the central theme was the father daughter relationship, 
Uh, but there was also, like, I mean, we got to see the mom, right? Like, B, who was kind of, like, trying to fix everything with everyone. But at the end, she kind of came into her own and was this really powerful, the love of a mother. Kind of just put her in position to just, like, wreck some fools, you know? Yeah, this movie was about an imp perfect family of human beings like being the heroes and then also celebrating that imperfectness and they even had juxtaposed them next to characters played John Legend and Chrissy Teigen is I think her name and like they were like the perfect Instagram family right yeah. their kid or whatever and so it was really funny it was a really well done movie it's fun it's awesome it's exciting I could watch it again, and I just saw the movie. Like, it was yeah. that good. It was a really good movie, so we both say go. Yeah. Go stream this, this movie. Yeah.